Hooker Furniture has several items that have touch lighting. The touch lighting is attached to a touch plate on a pilaster, a touch plate on the right hand side of the back, or on a hinge on the door on a hutch. When you touch the touch plate, it has a three intensity switch, low, medium, and high, and then off. Now the touch switch has this long lead that is inside the case. It is can be plugged and unplugged right here, rather simply. The lights themselves can be several different kinds. This one is a can light. It can be a tube light. Um, it can be a different size or puck lights, but they all hook up the same way. Now, if you have a lighting problem, a fixture is usually not bad. As you can see, this can light does not have any working parts. It is an actual light socket with wires screwed to it. That's it. It's easily checked to make sure that the wires are connected. And as you know, in your own home, not too many light sockets go bad because there's no movable part. The only thing that goes bad is the bulb. Now, with that said, in these electrical systems, the only thing that has a movable part or anything that can go bad is the touch switch. This switch has um, electronics in it that when you touch the touch lead, it grounds, the, it, grounds it out or static charge to where it changes the switch. These can get very sensitive or stop working. So to replace them, it's very easy to unplug them from here, unplug from the wire that goes into the case, and this is what pl is plugged into the wall, which is very easily um, replaced. So this is replaceable. However, not, none of your lights are usually, uh, usually have to be replaced. Um, they do not go bad. This is usually the culprit. Now, if you're... Um, in an area where there's a lot of electrical power fluctuations or a new housing development where the power is being turned on and off, all of those affect these switches. So you come home, your lights may be on. Now if you're in an area like that, we do have a roll switch cord that can plug into this light so that you have an on and an off switch so that you can bypass the touch switch if needed. Now, this same system can come with tube lights, puck lights, etc., and they all hook up the same way with this T-plug. The T-plug is on purpose to keep the polarity in the whole system exactly the same. Just like the plug that plugs into the wall now has a wide side and a narrow side. And the reason being is because the wide side of the plug is supposed to go to the side of the light bulb. These T-plugs keep that consistent all the way through the lighting no matter how many lights you plug up. So it's for safety reasons um, and should be, should be fine all the way through your whole system. And that's a simple touch light system for hooker furniture.